Good morning to all my dear students. How are you? I hope you all are safe and fine at your home. And I must believe that you have done a lot of work in terms of previous we have done. Right dear students? So today what we are going to learn? First of all, I would like to welcome you in our physical education class, grade 12th. Alright, so today what we are going to learn? We are going to learn the new term that is SPD. What we are going to learn? We are going to learn the new topic, the name is SPD. Right dear students, and here what is the formula of SPD? The formula of SPD or the full form is sensory processing disorder. What is it? Sensory processing disorder. Got it students? So here the very important concept is to learn what is SPD. See we have sense like we have five sense organs right how many sense organs we have we have five sense organs and these sense organs are our eye nose tongue skin and our ears all right dear students so here any kind of problem right like SCI you also take here sensory processing disorder okay so SCI is uh, something which is related to the spinal cord okay so here in this topic we'll be able to learn that what are the problem an individual will face if having SPD right so SPD the full form itself says sensory processing disorder which disorder? Sensory processing disorder. Got it, students? So now the point comes. This what is this sensory processing disorder? Okay. So what we need to understand here, it's a condition when a brain has trouble to receive or responding the information that comes from our senses, right? So what I'm gonna tell you now. This is the problem of our brain, okay? So this is the problem which is, uh, you know, in the brain. But the brain, okay, when the brain has trouble, okay? Brain or any of the sense organ. Brain or any of the sense organ. So when your sense organs are not working properly, all right, then what we called it? We called it whenever your sense organs are not working properly. Whenever it's a, you know, it's a condition of your brain. It's a condition of your brain when it has trouble while receiving and responding. Receiving and responding Information. What bache? Information through our sense organs. Through our sense organs. Through our sense organ, skin, eye, nose, etc. Got it? So basically what this sensory processing disorder is, it's a kind of disorder when it's a become you know it's a condition when our sense organ having a problem. You know having a trouble to respond receive information that comes through the sense organs right so formally refers as a sensory integration dysfunction right what we called it sensory integration dysfunctioning of the system so students uh, listen here that the sensory processing disorder it's a kind of, it may be a genetic, it may be a non-genetic problem, right? So, the sensory processing disorder, when a brain has a problem while responding, right? It's a problem when your brain has, a, you know, not responding or receiving information which is coming from your sense organs, right? 
So this information which is coming from a sense organ and your brain has uh, difficulty to receiving that. It's called a sensory processing disorder. In short, what I call it? In short, I call it SPD. What can we call it? SPD. Sensory processing disorder, right? So all 12 you would you understand it properly that it's a brain problem. It's a sensory kind of problem when this, you know, we can say a sensory integration dysfunctioning. What I call it? I call it sensory integration dysfunctioning. Now, why I'm calling it sensory integration dysfunctioning? Because, all right, there's a problem in the eye, the problem in the ear, problem in the skin, problem in the nose, problem in the ear, eyes, nose, ear, tongue. Right? So, this various problem which are you know, which uh, make a person in a problem, in a trouble. Disorder, the word itself says something which is not in order. Okay? Not arranged. Not in order. Got it, dear students? So, it's a matter to concern and it's a matter to think properly that it is a problem it's an ongoing problem so uh, it's a condition when uh, which affects the brain of an individual right when it has a trouble to receive responding information that comes through senses and this definitely this sense organs are affected all right some people with sensory processing disorder are oversensitive these people become oversensitive now they may be oversensitive by the light reflection they may be oversensitive by the uncoordination see they are not able to coordinate properly just because of the kind of problems they faces right so uh, you know this uh, it's not currently recognized as distinct medical diagnosis some people with sensory disorder SPD are oversensitive to things in their environment okay so they are very very oversensitive to the things in environment Okay, they are very overwhelming. Even though when things are good, even though when you know uh, there is a little sound or a normal sound, and they feel that the sound is very painful for them because just because they are having this kind of problems, they are having this SPD. Some of them having the light touch or you know shirt. See, uh, let's take an example. If you wear a shirt of black color, right? Shirt of green color. Or a black color shirt. So if they are not feeling that this color is good or something, they definitely, you know, their mood is swing and they feel very oversensitive and you know there's a lot of problem with them. So the light touch of the shirt may chaff their skin. Okay, they may they start thinking that this color will uh, let him or her into the problem like rashes or something else. This, these are the things, these are the thought process which are going in the mind of the person, right? Those who are facing the sensory processing disorder. So, uh, the other with sensory processing disorder may be uncoordinated, right? What else? Uncoordinated. All right so another thing is uncoordinated the next one that is bumps on things unable to tell where are their limbs are in the space hard to encourage conversation or play okay so they are unable to tell it means unable to tell right next thing is uh, the conversation they are generally demotivated Okay, we need to encourage them, encourage them. That's very important, right? So I hope you understand the concept, what I'm telling you. To uh, And very, very important thing is here, they allow, let allow them, right? We need to allow them to go for the play. We need to encourage them. We need to incorporate the values, the tradition, the culture to play, to make themselves so healthy, right? Until and unless they are not prosper. Sensory processing problems are usually identified in child. 
where we usually found out it, we usually find find out it in children, children, right? So it's generally found out in children, right, dear students? So, uh, but they are also affected adults. Sensory processing problems are commonly seen in developmental conditions. Okay, so if someone having sensory processing daughter, it may lead to the problems that is the, you know, autism spectrum disorder or a group of developmental problems. Got it students? So students, now you see I am going to make one chart and this chart will help you to understand what exactly it is sensory processing disorder, right? So let us start, first start to write sensory processing disorder. Sensory processing disorder. Right, but check disorder. Now, this disorder may occur due to what? This uh, disorder may occur due to the problem in the responding. Okay, so prob uh, brain has problem, right? This brain has problem to respond or to receive okay information what information now this information coming from where this information coming from the sense organs right from the sense organs sense organs what it is students so now what I tell you that uh, the basic things to understand are this problem is its an ongoing problem, right? So it's affect children, sometimes adults. Okay, now the very important thing is to learn the symptoms of SPD. Okay, the symptoms of SPD. Symptoms of SPD that is the sensory processing disorder. Which disorder? Sensory processing disorder. Right, dear students. Sensory processing disorder may affect one sense. Okay, so it may affect the hearing. So, as you all know, that eye which gives us the sensation of vision. We all know nose. Nose gives sensation of smell. Right? Tongue. Sensation of taste. Skin. Feeling. Right? Next one is eye, nose, tongue, skin, ear. Which gives sensation of hearing. So, when these things are affected, definitely it will be the symptoms, okay? So, it may affect the multiple sense. So, it may, the problem may be with the one sense organ, the problem may be the multiple sense organ, right? Maybe with the multiple sense organ. This problem may occur into the, into the multiple senses. Into the multiple senses. Got it? So here we understand that all peoples can be over and under responsive to the things and they have difficulty with like like many English uh, the symptoms of sensory processing disorder exist on a spectrum. So when this multiple when this word come here that is the multiple right. So when this multiple word come we should understand that is the spectrum. Right? So, here we need to understand that if a group of developmental disorders occur, we call it a spectrum. In the next lecture, we will definitely learn about the uh, spectrum in detail, right? So, for example, sound of leaf blower outside the window may cause them vomiting, drive. Uh, so, see, a very important thing to note here is, you know this people the uh, what should I say this kind of people which kind of problem occur with them so we were talking about the symptoms of SPD sensory processing disorder 
right dear students so students must have understood that this sensory processing disorder may affect someone of the sense like the hearing like the touch taste or it may affect the multiple senses so if i'm talking about the multiple senses you must have understood that i'm talking about all the five sense organs and you must have aware that the five sense organs are your eyes which give you the sensation of vision nose which give us the sensation of you know uh, smell ear which gives the sensation of hearing the skin will give the sensation of you know touch or feeling and many more right so students here what you need to understand that what are the symptoms of this spd sensory processing disorder so sensory processing disorder may kind of many illness to a person the symptoms of sensory processing disorder as you can see here on the board disorder exists on spectrum group of developmental problems right so uh, in some children for example the leaf okay as you can see on the board the sound of leaf blower outside the window lead them vomit it shocked you even it me also so it's it's very you know um, very doubtful that the sound of leaf blower outside the window may lead them vomit they may scream if you touch them right so because see when this people this kind of problem in the sensory organs there is a problem with the person and you we can't imagine which kind of problem they are facing right so the sound of leaf even blow which is which is blow outside it lead them vomiting or vomit they may scream if you touch them because see some of them having you know uh, when one of the sensor sense is loose definitely there will be lot of problems in the body if we lose one sense organ then definitely there will be lot of problem but they are having multiple intelligence also if they have this kind of problems so the second symptom is they may scream when they you touch them okay they are very sensitive they may recoil themselves or they may had the texture of food sometimes they had the texture of anything like you know sometimes they say oh how dirty this wall texture is how dirty the texture of this cloth and they may you know uh, reject or we may say they hate some colors like you know if we if, if you wear the green shirt to say oh no it's very bad i am not feeling bad when well, see your shirt this kind of thought process comes in their mind they are generally not responding they are unresponding people they generally do not they do not respond they generally do not respond the things it just because of the sensory problem all right they may fail to respond sometime you know the extensive heat they do not respond it okay so even though they know that it's heat but they do not feel because their sensory organs are not working accordingly even though sometime on cold they do not feel that even if you uh, if they having pain so this just because of the sensory problem on the skin they'll fail to know that there is pain in their body so sensory processing disorder it's a condition in which brain has trouble while receiving and responding to the information that comes through the senses that comes through the senses formally refers to a sensor integration dysfunctioning this dysfunctioning sensory integration dysfunctioning it's not currently recognized as distinct medical diagnosis got it dear students and some people with sensory dysprosing disorders are oversensitive no they are very oversensitive to things and in their environment they are very you know feeling very bad if something is in the environment you know even the if you talk in the terms of uh, emotion psychology etc they are very oversensitive we can say they are very sensitive or we can say they are oversensitive common sounds may be painful for them or may be overwhelming for them the light touch of shirt see the light touch of shirt may carve sharp the screen the skin other with sensory problems disturb may you know they may be uncoordinated they may be disturbed that they may be disorganized okay 
and bumps on their things another is uh, be unable to tell whether their limbs are in a space okay so this kind of problems a person uh, you know possessing while having spd they you know need some encouragement they need some encourage so that if someone encourage them they'll converse properly you know the, for if it talk in terms of hearing problem so symbolic language is going on which is very difficult although we called it unreal language but that was very difficult right so sensory processing disorder are usually identified in children right so when but they also affect adults sensory processing disorder is not recognized as a stand alone disorder it may be expert thing that they should be changed so we should work on it and we should understand that these are some big problems where we need to in touch and when we need to understand which kind of problem is this and how to solve the problem right because they are also even being and will need to work for that so now we'll be talking on the another part and this part is totally related with the causes right so let me tell you what are the causes right so what we are going to learn we are going to learn the causes of spd causes of sensory processing disorder right causes of spd okay so the very first causes is genetic problem right dear students what is the first problem the first problem is genetic problem right genetic problem okay so when we talk about this genetic problem so this genetic problems are related with the genes the chromosomes etc got it dear students so genetic problem is something which is related to the chromosomes and as you all know that we get the genes right from our parents there is a recombination of genes there is a replication recombination of genes from mother and father then a new baby is produced by the process of reproduction so definitely uh, sometime this spd may cause due to the genetic problem okay it may by birth it may by birth it may be after birth it may be after birth so anything could be happen it may be after birth or it may be during birth or it may be genetic okay another thing is it's a uh, during pregnancy problem okay it may be a pregnancy problem pregnancy complication or pregnancy condition sometime you know this low weight so low body weight low body weight during birth so during birth if the body weight is low definitely there will be lot of problems the problems with the internal organs the problem with the normal functioning of the body and definitely see this everything will affect it if the body weight is too low right so it's very important to understand sometimes due to trauma okay some accident sometimes due to war this may be episodic so when it occurs due to accident it occurred due to war so these become episodic what it called we call it episodic so may occur due to this accident war trauma etc now the most important factor is this environmental factor which factor environmental environmental factor see dear students environment play a very important role right see this uh, environment is of two types one is positive environment and second one is negative environment right so if the environment is positive if the environment having positive vibrations where individual learn so many things we you know this attractiveness is with positive and negativity both so if some somewhere or something is very interactive something is different there so definitely individually interact so environment play a very very important role in terms of this any problem right so environment if the environment is good 
now i am if i am telling that environment is good so what are the things here if it is good if it is positive right so environment should be clean okay this environment should be clean after that this environment should be safe hygiene should be maintained right dear students so these are some points where we can say that the environment is positive or good if we talk in terms of negative so unhygienic environment which is not safe dirtiness you know garbage is there see as you all know about polio so why this polio occur because this tool the of people which are generally there was no latrines uh, in the area and the people are not using that so that's why this is stool that is the feces or we can say a potty uh, which have some bacteria and lead to polio to the people so we made some laws we made some you know schemes and avoid uh, you know avoid people that kind of bath lates you no know, to their home and they are using so this kind of uh, polio problem is in our hand and we you know overcome it right so these are the causes of spd right so they you know this uh, causes in simple you can say first is genetic problem second is low birth weight third is trauma fourth is accident sometime uh, this low body weight okay or uh, this positive environment environment also play a vital role right so one what you need to go for you must need to understand that this environment should be positive well it we need to take care of we need to take care that this environment should be proper so that this things can be checked properly and things can be achieved properly so you must be surprised when you see this picture so dear students after this dark the another photo is here and you see this this is a boy named spd uncle right so this spd boy we tell uh, i have characterized it uh, with the many problems that he is facing okay and you can also understand in such a way that this boy has some problem okay now let's see what is the problem with this boy so as you can see on this board that what are the problems this boy has the very first problem he face is that he may cover so sometimes this boy cover his ears when there are loud sound and you know which kind of sound this sound is like a uh, vacuum sound hair dryer and they started to crying right so uh, this boy uh, like uh, as we have given the name spd boy right so uh, this kind of prop the person who is possessing uh, this spd problem they may cover their ears when there are loud sound such as wet the sound of vacuum machine the sound of hair dryer etc may even some of them started very you know become so angry and they started crying they screaming okay and do lot of things right because they feel very bad when this uh, voice uh, it may affect them it may lead them you know into problems or something may have issues with food texture so these kind of people who have obesity they feel a problem with the texture of food gagging is common when trying new things they never ever accept new things very soon they want time and they even sometimes don't try for the new things they want a lot of time if they want to do something new if they want to adapt their self new so to adapt something they want a lot of time to accommodate to coordinate and to understand that new thing so it's clear here that the person who is having spd will never be get ready soon for facing new things facing challenges they are sometimes excessive risk taker and sometimes they are not at all a uh, excessive risk taker right so sensory processing disorder affects the sense okay and here it can't be touch 
sometimes you can't touch them or if you touch they started screaming sometimes they started crying sometimes they show aggression sometimes they may show instrumental aggression sometimes they may show assertive behavior right because they are somehow mentally disturbed because the functioning of the body is not longer normal right so uh, and generally they dislike the to cut the hair or to comb the hair with the brush right so why because see they have a kind of mentality in their self and they fail to respond the stimulus around them right so what we need to understand here is they may dislike to brush their hair or cut because they have their own world right they give they want a lot of time to accommodate with things right so uh, they may be very sensitive towards sight the next point they may be very sensitive uh, sensitive towards light they may uh, cry or upset over clothing texture okay sometimes if they don't like the texture of the cloth they may be you know started crying they may be very upset due to that okay may cry due to due upset over clothing texture as well as they are sometimes excessive risk taker what they are they may be sometime the excessive risk taker okay and sometime they may you know uh, in the talk of people while three people are conversating and if they taking making fun of them they might be very aggressive they might be you know it means uh, they may be show instrumental aggression or they do something uh, bad which should not be done right so these kind of people do not have control over their senses and they are not emotionally stable too so they may go for having so some things like suicide and they may take ex extensive or excessive risk taker they have surely if they having this kind of problem so they are they having lot a lack of coordination may show little or uh, you know uh, stimulus so uh, what is stimulus here see bachche stimulus it means to respond the things like if someone is calling me hello deepak sir so i'll respond because i am deepak sir but if you call this kind of people they may not may not respond what i say they may not respond because they having the, this problem called spd right so they may show uh, even for pain they may not respond even for the cold or heat they may not respond so basically what we understand here is the sensory processing disorder it's a condition when a person sense organ is not responding properly all right and the causes of this spd the sensory processing disorder may be genetic may be low birth weight may be trauma may be accident may be war may be environmental factor got it this uh, you know many children with sensory processing disorder start out fuzzy babies you know who having anxious they are grown older these kids often don't handle change as well okay they may frequently throw a uh, meltdown or you know become very aggressive then sometimes become very cheerful it means their mood is swing a lot many children have symptoms like you know these from time to time but therapists consider a diagnosis of sensory processing disorder when a symptoms become severe enough to affect normal functioning and disrupt every day life got it so it may be sometimes serious it may be sometime uh, fine so it depends on the situation that what could happen and what the problem exactly got it dear students so i hope you must have understood this topic till now so dear students i hope it is clear from the above that this disorders and disability so as i told you earlier the disability is something you know uh, which affects someone's mind and body right and disorder is something which is a state of mental confusion in the same way these what is this this spd is also a sensory processing disorder and it definitely affects someone's mind and body because it's a state of mental confusion right so it's a state of mental confusion
right so to overcome this one should go for counseling uh, there should be a lot of therapies and it should be handled on a uh, you know normal stage so that it can't be severe and it can be handled properly so students i hope you must have understood today's topic and uh, it is very easy and it's a five marks question go through this all right so take care bye bye lots of loves and blessings to all of